uh, um, excuse me, uh, uh, shall we talk about this, Mr. Ambassador? Ah, what is it we're about to run into in Poland? See, uh, I realize there are not that many of you whom have been to Poland in the late 90s and saw this whole damned city with cranes in the sky, rebuilding, rebuilding, rebuilding everything that was destroyed again because they're at the ass end of everything in the middle of a goddamn war between basically Attila the Hun, Genghis Khan, and maybe the Romans, uh, whatever white people made it west. There's this fight been going on, Mr. Ambassador. And I have to, I have to apologize because it may be beyond my boundaries in my office to be able to say that you fucking people are forgetting the faces of your fathers. You forget that when I was there, you haven't been there. You were not surprised to be walking underneath a city in Warsaw in the underground of a whole civilization beneath the surface. Why did they rebuild this while they still got the cranes up there trying to build homes for people? Why did they rebuild under the surface? It's because they can't take the bombing anymore and they've learned from it. And you act like these fucking people that are taking in Ukrainian refugees and actually showing up to the border at one in the morning and saying, hey, I'll come get you. I'll come get you. You are my brother. Why are you my brother? Because before World War II in there, the Ukraine was part of Poland. Kiev. Kievich. Kiewicz. Look at your name. You are the son of Kiev. It's because Joe, I, I just saw a spittle fly out of my mouth and I have to apologize for that. Joseph Conrad, who wrote Heart of Darkness, is not a man with the name Conrad. He changed it from his original, and he's from Barons and things, I think, down in that that region of the provision and all that stuff. But these people are brothers and sisters and they have had to fight each other because of what happened with the split. Now they're trying to attack their brothers these Russians can't call them Soviet Union because they're not that powerful anymore. These Russians are attacking them because they're told to. And, and here, you've got the people in Poland. You've got the people in Poland. The people have been taking the ass and everything forever. If not, for the Ukrainians, you would not have Apocalypse Now. 
that's what that movie is based upon. Da 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 I mean, don't you love watching a bunch of Vietnamese fucking gooks get killed to the sound of good music? Valkyrie, right? It would not have been available to you if not for the Ukrainian Joseph Conrad, a fine Polish man who saw the story of Colonel Kurtz and Marlowe. It, it gets so deep. If you believe what people are telling you, it means that you haven't looked into it yourself. Oh my God. Come on, man. It's not so much about saving Warsaw as it is about saving your fucking old auntie.